What is cracking in and a crispy warm welcome to Raz TV. I'm your host Raz, today bringing you my latest impulse by The Elder Scrolls Online. Now I know what you're thinking, Raz. Tons of World of Warcraft streamers are jumping on the bandwagon of ESO while BFA is not quite what we expected. You're just following along, going with the crowd if you will. And you know what? You're absolutely right. So here I am, about to play The Elder Scrolls Online. For those of you unfamiliar with this Xenomax, that's right, Xenomax release, it's kind of what would happen if World of Warcraft and Skyrim had a baby, but Skyrim sort of smoked a little bit through the pregnancy. So it still turned out pretty cool in the end, but it didn't quite measure up to what it could have been. Anyway, um, I'm told it's still, uh, well not still, I'm told it's shaping up to be a pretty decent game at the moment so I'm really looking forward to playing it because I do love the Elder Scrolls world. How about I just shut up now and jump right into it. We're gonna create a brand new character here. That's right folks, a brand new character. Um, in this game we have three alliances to choose from. We've got the Daggerfall Covenant. Oh there's an orc and they have the orcs, the Bretons and the Red God. We have the Altmiri Dominion. That's right, the old Miri Dominion, who have the Khajiit, the Wood Elves, and the High Elves. High Elf. And of course, we have the Ebonheart Pack, who have the Argonians, the Nords, who we'll remember from Skyrim, and of course, well, I suppose we'd remember them all from Skyrim, but, you know, it was a Nord-themed expansion. Anyway, um, and of course, the Dark Elves. And for this particular character, I'm thinking of going with a Dark Elf, because I've got a very set idea of what I want to be doing with this character. Um, I'm going to make him male. Let me, let, me, let me give you the breakdown for Dark Elves, first of all, before I go any further. The racial skills of the Dark Elves reflect their intellect and agility, giving them bonuses in dual wielding, flame, and lava resistance. Weapon and spell damage and base magicka and stamina. That's a lot of bonuses. These bonuses allow them to adapt to anything. It sounds like it. Anyway, um, so I'm going to do them with no gear. Sensitive viewers, cover your eyes. I'll give you the preview first. Actually, actually, actually. One sec. I'll show you the classes, right? So with the classes, we have the Nightblade there, which is our first one. I think that's kind of like a rogue type one. The Dragon Knight, which is obviously more of the traditional kind of, um, you know, Akaviri Blades type character and we have the sorcerer the templar paladin and of course the warden which i from what i've read i think is a bit like a hunter sort of but from what i understand the classes in ESO are not kind of bound in the same way they are with other um mmos bound to a specific role they they have a bit more versatility depending on how you actually spec them yourself so there's a lot of choice in what we can do i am going to be going with the knight blade for this character and as we see, Nightblades are adventurers and opportunists with a gift for getting in and out of trouble. Relying variously on... Vari relying variously? Relying variously on stealth, blades and speed, Nightblades thrive on conflict and misfortune. Trusting to their, trusting to their luck and cunning to survive. I'm not sure if the grammar there is entirely correct, but it sounds cool. It sounds cool. Um, and we do have a preview here of the Nightblade's champion gear, which we'll take a look at. Look at that! The Legion, Legionnaire! Which is pretty cool. I uh, hope you can see that alright, it's pretty dark on my screen. And with no gear, cover your eyes children. There we are. Okay, so basically what I'm hoping to do with this character, um, is I'm really hoping to have him end up becoming a vampire. That's why I'm going with the Dark Elf, that's why I'm going with the Nightblade, because I love vampires. Um, I hate them in fiction in general. I think they've been ruined by a lot of lot of different media But I think in the Elder Scrolls they've actually done a really good job with it and I'm keen to see what they're like in ESO um, So I'm just changing his oh look at that dude's ripped All right, so we'll go ripped. We'll go a little bit ripped not too ripped We want we want the muscle definition, but we want him thin. He's 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 vampiric. He's elegant We'll make him a little bit taller, I think. Yeah, a little bit taller. Uh, we've got a couple skin colors to choose from. We can go really dark. Whoa, that is, that is ebony. Or we can go a little bit lighter. I think I'm going to try and go as light as possible. One of these two. I think that one's got more of the uh, vampiric appeal. Body marking. Are we going to worry too much about body marking? There's, there's a lot of cool ones that we can check out. Um... 
sort of veiny, sort of scratchy. We've got some burns. Wow, that's... I don't know if this guy's ready for combat. This guy needs to be in a ICU. Um, and I think from memory there was like a little bite mark. Yeah, is that the one on his shoulder? Yeah, so there's a little bite mark on his shoulder. That's the one I'm going to go with. Um, we can change up his torso size a bit. We won't spend too much time worrying about this. We'll just try and get to a nice place. We want him to look good, but we don't want him to look uh, gauche, shall we say. I'll just edit around some of these values. We'll make him look kind of, kind of, I don't know, not too fat. We don't want him too fat. Hey, not that there's anything wrong with that. Don't criticize anything, anyone's life decisions. Um, we'll make his hands a little bit smaller, give him a good hip size. Hips should be a little bit more out than the waist, so he's got that kind of cartoony anime cut look to him, sort of like Goku or something like that. Posterior dimensions. Do we want him to have a bit of a junk in his proverbial trunk? I'll put it there. I think that looks good. I'd give that a little swat. No, I wouldn't. I'm not that way inclined. Trust me. Anyway, um, so we've got leg size here. Leg size will make about there. And foot size will put about there. Okay. Now we've got our face. It's a little bit difficult with the adornments. I'm just going to put that to nothing for the moment so I can have a better look at what he's actually going to look like. We've got soft. We got heroic. Oh, he looks angry. He's an angry guy. And we've got angular. Angular soft no, i don't like soft and heroic okay so maybe i'm gonna try and go midways maybe a bit through i think that's pretty good I'll make it a little bit more toward the angular side maybe there yeah i think that's good i'm happy with that and then we've got to choose a voice there's a couple we can choose from oh okay that's not quite it no not quite that no i don't know I like that one. It's sort of um, it's sort of self-centered. I might go with that one. I'll just see what the others sound like. Yeah. I'm thinking D so far. Jeez. Okay. I'm gonna go with D, guys. I'm gonna go with D. D is good for me. Okay. Um, I kind of like the long hair. I think there's a couple others, but there's nothing quite. Oh, that one's okay. Uh, yeah, no, nothing that quite shapes up. So I'm going to just go with the long hair. Um, I'm going to do white hair, much like Dracula in Castlevania. I've actually never played the Castlevania series. I assume it's Dracula, but I'm not 100% sure. Because like I say, I have never played it. So it might not be. It might just be some random dude. It might be Van Helsing for all I know. But I think it is Dracula. Um, just change up his age a little bit. Now, as a vampire, obviously, he doesn't need to look too aged. He's a vampire. He's immortal. Um, but we'll just leave it over there so he doesn't look too young. Change up the beard a little bit. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. All right, I don't want him to have too long a beard. That one's cool, too. Wait, let me go back to that one. Uh, that one's okay. There's something about that that's kind of spicy. Um, okay, no, he's not a biker. No, nah. Ah, nah. uh, moustache, little moustache. Um, if anybody's actually read Bram Stoker's Dracula, he did have a moustache in that, and that's cool too. Maybe I'll go with that one. I'm tossing between that one and that other one. Where was it? I think it was this. Oh, yeah, that one there. Actually, I prefer that one. It's a little bit more understated. I think there's something to it. Head marking. Do we want any head markings? Do we want any head markings? Uh, it's got like some scars. That might be cool. Another big scar. Oh! Bit of red there. Oh, eyeliner. Guys, vampire. Eyeliner. It's perfect. Can't go wrong with that. Forehead slope. Are we going to stick it out or are we going to stick it in? Let's stick it out a little bit. I think that looks good. Yeah, all the way? No. Well, maybe. I'll just do it there. Cheekbone size. I don't know if we're too worried about cheekbone size. Maybe a little ways up and we'll put them up a bit so he's got more of a skeletal type structure to his face. Jaw size, I'm not too worried about it. I don't want it to be too thick. Uh, chin size, out or in, it doesn't really matter. And chin height, I think we can do a little bit down there. Because it makes his beard ever so slightly more pointy. Pronounced, if you will. Um, 
where was our neck size we'll try and give him a little bit of a thinner neck he is he is a he is a gentleman type character as a vampire so we'll just give him a neck i think with eyes i'm tossing up between white like that or red hmm there's a couple different reds i reckon i'm just gonna go with that piercingly bright red i quite like that i think that fits what's the white like again the gold yeah okay i'm gonna stick with the red guys gonna stick with the red it kind of gets brought out quite nicely by that rouge not rouge uh blush oh, I, I don't know makeup this is why i'm a gaming channel uh eye size will make them a little bit bigger smaller i don't know i don't really care about that squint we'll, we'll put them like that that looks i think it's a bit better the Normal Dark Elf eyes are angled rarely downward, which is a little bit weird to look at. So I'll just do that. We'll give him the height a little bit lower, a little bit higher. Oh, well, higher looks cool. Okay. A bit of a squint, so he looks angry. It's like, eh, eh, I'm angry with you. Okay. Um, eyebrows. I don't know if this matters too much. We'll try and find something pronounced. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Okay, there's a few different options with eyebrows. Some of them are a little bit less obvious. I want something a bit more obvious so it kind of stands out. Makes his eyes pop, if you will. I think that one back there. Unless I can find a better one. No, so there was one back here that I liked. I think, not that one. That one? Wait, was it that one? I don't remember which one it was. I think it was that one. Yeah, okay, I think it's that one there. All right, and we'll put them higher, lower little bit lower and we can do an eyebrow skew if you're so mad la, 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 la. get it yeah rock reference because that's what the rock does people's eyebrow anyway um so yeah we'll give him a little bit of a skew so he's like what you doing but uh we won't worry too much about that eyebrow depth will make him i don't know sticky arty a little bit kind of moves his hair which is a bit weird but whatever no shape what does the no shape do back and oh biggie biggie uh, what we can do it down. We're gonna have a little bit more of a pronounced nose. That's probably fine as is. Uh, nose height. We'll make it a little bit lower or a little bit higher. It doesn't really matter. And the width. We'll do a little bit less width, width and length. We'll do the length. I don't know. I'm not too convinced on that shape. Maybe just slightly up. Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that. Mouth height. Down or up. It doesn't really matter. What about curve? Do we want him to smile? Do we want him to be that sinister? <laughs> He's really way too upset there. Okay, we'll give him a little smile. And lip fullness. We'll just give him a little bit fuller lips. That's fine. Ear size. Can't really see anything with ears. Tip rotation. We'll just make it a little bit further back. Tip flare. I don't know what that does, but that seems to be okay. Height. I'm not too worried about it. I'll probably put the height about there. Size I might do down a little bit. Okay. I'm happy with that. All right, and I'm going to name him Raz Fer Raz Feratu. Hopefully that name is not taken because I can't think of anything better. And Raz Feratu will play the tutorial. All right, so there you go, guys. We're logging in, requesting character load for Raz Feratu, our indomitable Nightblade. Um, I'm probably only going to really have time to kind of run through the tutorial. Uh, but let's see what it's like. All right. Eldbur Sanctuary. Presumably, this is where the scholars of the old Elba Monastery gathered for meditation and reflection. It looks like it anyway, but something doesn't feel right. What doesn't feel right, I wonder? Is it the fact that our vampiric character is there? Our character who for all intents and purposes should be a vampire, but isn't? But will. Oriandra. Hi, Oriandra. Not a player. Not a player. I'm not frozen. I just think I am. Well, I actually can't move. She hasn't. Oh, but there we go. Okay, so we're moving about. Lovely little place we have here, a little statue there of what appears to be, a, I'm guessing, a high elf, because this is the Somerset expansion. Um, oh, we have a sword here. That's very cool. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to equip it. Why not? Hopefully the tutorials aren't going to get in the way too much. My idea with this character... Oh, I got stuff. My idea with this character is really to make someone who is um, kind of... 
uh, dual wielder. I think that would be for the best. I, I, I was looking at a few builds. I hope nobody thinks that's cheating or anything, because, I don't know, kind of gives me gives me a beginner's edge, which I wouldn't have going in fresh. But I was kind of looking at a few builds, and I'm thinking of going with stamina. It seems like stamina might be a fun way to go. I really want to go with that kind of, like, Nightblade kind of stealthy, stealthy mofo. So um, I'm probably going to go with that. Dual wield with a whole bunch of stamina. Stamina things. Just looting these urns now. Oh, a pewter ring. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to just go through all of these vases before I equip anything because I, I think that probably important. I don't know. What have we here? Oh, a little knife. A little dagger. I'll take that. That's a one-hander right there. Already off to a good start. Okay. Uh, some lockpicks. And I think that's just about all of the urns. Oh, there's one. Okay, we're getting a lot of lockpicks. So I hope there's a... Uh, Locked stuff coming up because it's going to be no challenge for me. All right, let's see what we actually picked up there. We got some apparel, rawhide. Okay, I'm going to go with medium armor. Don't ask me why. Um, <laughs> look at this. He looks so stupid with the helmet off. Oh my god. I think we can turn the helmet off, but I'm going to leave him like that for now because he's kind of quirky. Um, let me just come through and loot some more of these chests. Oh, that door just could. That door just disappeared. She could have just opened it, but she just made it disappear. That's crazy. It's a little bit excessive, to be honest, but wow, I'm impressed. Uh, is there anything around the corner here? Oh, little sword. No, just another great sword, it would seem. What do we have here? A lot of shields. A lot of people, or oh, a lot of dead guys with shields here. Clearly, those shields did not do the job that they were intended for. Another great sword here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. We got some, what is that? Some armor, some sabatons, or sabatons, if you will. Uh, Curus, Quirus. It's actually weird, like, I've never actually heard a lot of these words pronounced. I've only ever read them in video games. So with a lot of them, I probably do... Pro oh. There is no escape. I will break you in time. Ominous. Okay. Right, let's equip some of that shit while that guy blathers on about turning memories against me. I'm gonna put on the two daggers chest a light chest okay we'll put on those boots the gloves no we've already got medium gloves we'll put on that iron curls no rawhide helmet which one do we want we'll go with the breton one we'll go with the breton one and i think that that is about it yeah i know there's a lot of bonuses on these but that's mainly because they're heavy armor i want to focus on medium armor i don't know why but i want to focus on medium armor so let's just go with that um, oh, bad guy. Hey. Hey, I'm gonna light attack you. Light attack you to death. First kill. First kill. Oh, shit. Okay, I gotta defend myself and I gotta strike back. And look at me go. I've got such a kind of flair to my attacks. It's beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm interrupting the spell and I'm retaliating. And he's dead. That's three dead in like the first five minutes of the game. I am a murderer. And I've leveled up. How cool is that? So, Raz Ferrato has got his first level. Bunch of future rewards here. I don't know why I care about future rewards. I just want now rewards. Uh, I'm going to put the points into stamina. Because I said I was going with a stamina build. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Sorry if it's not. And I suppose I will just go with Assassin's Blades. Active avail strike while sneaking invisible. Alright, I'm just gonna go with the Assassin's Blades. I don't care. I don't care. Um, so yeah. We got our first spell and we'll be able to use that very shortly. Um, I don't know if there's too much more to be done here. Just picking up the breaches and stuff. Wait, I don't think I have any pants yet. I did it. Awesome. Okay, anything else here of note? No, not really. And we can run here. Oh, there's a little insect. Can I kill it? Uh, die, you insect! Can't kill the insect. Well, that sucks. Lame. But I did want to kill it. Okay. So, look at it. It's taunting me. Little bastard. Die. Die. Okay. Still can't kill the insect. <sighs> anyway. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. We'll ignore the insect. Taunt me not, ye foul insect. I will not be tempted by your supple flesh. Sorry about that one. Okay, and here we are, falling into some sort of puddle. 
Wow, look at the sky. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, I don't know, like, the graphics in this game, or the, I don't know if I should say graphics, the kind of general aesthetic is pretty cool. Oh, a Yagra lava. Yagra lava. Yagra lava, if you will. Um, wait, can we use our new spell yet? We probably can. Oh, homespun sash. That might be medium, is it? Light. Okay, we won't worry about that one. Um, oh, more ghosts. More ghosty people. Hey, die. That was my spell, by the way. Here, I'll use it again in case you didn't see. Oh, shit. Got a block. Didn't block. Sorry about that. Come on, block me. Dude, block me. I got a block. Well, he was no help. Freaking dead, guys. Okay, and here's a one-handed sword. I don't know if I should go with daggers or swords specifically. I don't remember what the build said. I'm just going to stick with the daggers for now. I just killed a spider. Oh, a beetle. <laughs> My bad. Um, okay, we'll just come around here. What do you want? What do you want, you desiccated fire mage? You think I've got time for you? Okay, pull him back, pull him back, pull him back. Um, he seems to have like some red glowy stuff on him. I think that is from my my spell actually I think my spell did that to him. Oh, we got a little mud skipper and it's dead um, And we got I don't know why it's got did it give us insect parts? That's really weird That dude just kamikazied me Wow, I don't know what that accomplished. He kind of just blew himself up right against me apparently without doing a single bit of damage or damage, if you will. Okay, we'll just loot up these guys. And we got a fire mage. Oh, is that another player? I have no idea. I think it might be. It's not showing up. Oh, it is. Cool. So there's another person, guys. We're not alone in this adventure. Uh, we'll just take the restoration stuff. Okay. Killing the frogs. Fantastic. All right. So I'm just come around here. I think this is the door I'm trying to... <laughs> I've got to leave these beetles alone. It's really not necessary for me to be killing them. If I see any more. Gosh darn it. They are dead. Die you desiccated warrior. Test of my blood. What was that from? I can't remember. Anyway. I'll just come through this door now. There's a little baggie here. But it's empty. So what good was that? Let's see what's behind door number one. Oh look at that. It's kind of like a circle. What are we inside? Is this like a brain? A nerve center. It reminds me a lot of that one mission in Fallout where you have to go into the synth's brain. Oh, not the synth. Um, what was his name? Kellogg. You had to go into Kellogg's brain. This is what that looks like. Maybe it's reused assets. Mm, is Bethesda? Well, Zenimac. I don't know how they work. Don't ask me. Anyway, let's take this abyssal pill. It looks pretty, and I want it. And holy shit, there's a Yachra nightmare. Oh my goodness, he is a lot bigger than the others. Come on, spell, spell, gonna use my spell, gonna use my spell, gonna use my spell, just, just circling him, circling him. You're going down, Yachra Nightmare. You are going, oh, red stuff, oh, bad. Oh no, oh no, I'm taking it, I'm copping it. Oh, why is he farting on me? That's disgusting. You disgust me, Yachra Nightmare. And he's dead. Just like that. Destroy the pill and, wait, wake up, I'm sleeping. Did she mention that? Maybe she did mention that. But how do you distinguish between the dream and reality? Oh, interesting. Okay, I'll destroy the pearl. And bam! <laughs> Got out my little hammer there. Oh, Somerset. The land called Somerset is the birthplace of civilization and magic as we know it in Tamriel. On its idyllic seekers shores live the Ultima, the High Elves. Um, and if I remember anything about the High Elves from Skyrim, they are huge huge douchebag so i'm really keen to get back in and find out what these high elves are like but i've got to assume huge douchebags okay anyway it's just loading now so let's reflect on some of what we've done up to now we killed a bunch of yachra lava and a yachra nightmare some desiccated warriors we saw a player and completely ignored them as you do in any mmo and uh we got a whole bunch of weapons and armor just floating around our bags not sure if any of them are particularly useful not sure if i've equipped the right things not sure if i'm specking the right way but hey i'm keen to find out how i go as we continue this journey there we are perfect okay and here it's oriandra the little voice in the back of my head let's find out what she has to say you too oriandra 
Uh, first to escape the entity's grasp. Thanks for helping me. But who are you exactly? He's Oriandra. Why are you even asking? Ah, the Sigic Order. So they were actually a big part of the um, Mages Guild. Mages Guild, the Winterhold quest in um, uh, Skyrim. If I can repay you for your help, let me know. Okay. You might require my assistance. I don't think it does, to be honest. But thank you, that's that's very kind of you, Orionda. And I got 56 gold. That is a lot of gold. Um. Okay. Oh, I'll assist if I can, but probably not. Right. I have a friend in the Sigic Order. Look at that, I'm making friends already. She is an NPC, but hey. She did say she's my friend. You all heard her say it. You can't be saying I don't have any friends, because there we are, Oriandra said so, so there you go. Um, alright, we got to get another spell now. Um, uh, maybe I'll just go with what they're recommending me. We got Veiled Strike, which is instant, and we got Strife, which can be cast from a long way away. Actually, I might go with that one. Siphoning Strife, yeah, that sounds cool, that sounds cool. It's a siphoning ability, so I guess it steals health from our enemies, which is really what we want as a vampire. Um, I'll probably read a build and see what, what to do as I go along. Oh, there's some bags here. The cat. Who said that? Hey, hey. Calm down, buddy. I'm trying to think here. Oh, no, they've changed Somerset to a tourist attraction. The elves aren't going to like that. Given how racist the uh, High Elves have been in Skyrim, I imagine that opening it up as opening their homeland up as a tourist attraction is probably not going to go well. Water and strange creatures. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I will help him. I will go talk to Razumdar. Alright, it looks like there's some stuff to collect here. We got a drink, we got some something in the sack here. Okay, um, but I am probably going to call it there, guys. I've accomplished about as much as I set out to in this uh, first intrepid look into the Elder Scrolls Online. Thank you so much for watching. I know we may not have accomplished much today, but this is just our initial steps. We'll accomplish more as we go along. So anyway, guys, please feel free to hit me a like if you happen to enjoy the video, and why not even subscribe? But until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.